depending on your mat. <laughs> All right, we're going to look after the lower limbs. So just taking the knee up to the side and gives me five ankle circles to the right. And then five to the left. Two. You can take your time a little bit, four and five. And keeping your quad nice and stationary, you're going to rotate your knee five directions right. And five directions left. And five, lovely sting here guys, feeling a bit of a burn. Taking it into a hip circle, bring your knee back and all the way through. And again, we'll do five direction or five reps in each direction. Three, four, and five, and reverse, taking it back as far as you can, out to the side, up and around for one, two, three. Who I can feel it in my standing leg. Four. And anyone doing it balancing, well done to you. And shake it out. All right, taking it to the opposite side. Five ankle circles. And try and point down all the way through your toes. Four and five. Holding that knee stationary. Pull it back. And one, two, three, four, and five. Reverse, one, two, three, four, and five. Lovely, and our hip circles. Four, one, two. Try and get as much backward position with that knee to feel the hamstring. Three, four, and five and reverse so draw that knee all the way back as high as you can and then come out to the side up and around for one two three four lovely and five that opposite's loose you okay doke guys coming to the start of your yoga mass we're just gonna gently walk through our pike position. So very little steps, you're gonna push down and a little bit of a step forward with your toes each time. All right, so you're getting in as many steps, work your way all the way to the top of your yoga mat and then go backwards. Yeah, I should feel a little bit of heat building up in the body here. Lovely, just up once and back. Then guys, you can bring your feet just hip distance apart. And almost like an RDL, we don't have a weight here though. I'm going to reach those hips back, keep your knees nice and straight, drop your chest as low as you can, but keep a nice flat back and stand tall. So like a good morning movement, but I want you to really press the back of your knees so that they're lovely and straight and you should feel a nice stretch right at the back of those knees as you do so. We're gonna do a bent knee one here in a minute now, so I want full lockout on these 10 reps. Squeeze the kneecaps, press through the back of your knee as much as you can. Don't worry about getting too low, just feel the stretch. You're thinking about reaching your hips back rather than bending forward. Your chest will naturally move forward as your hips reach back. Lovely, so ideally guys, that stretch was showing up here in the back of the knee. 
Now I'm going to do the same setup, but I'm going to let my knees come to a soft bend. I'm going to reach my hips back, and now I should feel it slightly higher in the hamstring. So this is more like your uh, RDL position. So from here, just push, push, push those hips as far as you can. Nice flat back, as you can see at the bottom, and squeeze the glutes to stand. Feel the lengthening of the belly of the hamstring. <clears throat> Very nice. Hopefully you felt the difference with the locked out knee and then with the bent knee. Lovely guys. And staying in this position, if you can, I want you, you can round your back this time, drop your hands to the floor and you're just going to give me 20 heel lifts or pedals. So bending and straightening through the opposite knee. Try and get your heel to the floor as you lift the other one. <clears throat> so 10 on each side. Lovely. Take your time, feel out the stretch with each rep. Okay, and our next one here, I'm going to take my right leg across my left leg like so. So cross it over. And that's gonna help me to keep that leg locked out. And again, I'm coming into a forward fold position, dropping down as much as I can, using my knee in front or leg in front to push into that uh, back leg. And we're gonna hold here for 30 seconds. If you can think about turning your tailbone up to the sky to get a little bit of flattening in that low back. You go 15 more seconds on this side. Lovely, and switch. If you feel better, guys, raising the floor. So if you have something you can place your hands on, you can do so. Like a foam roller, a weight. Lovely, we've got 10 seconds. And relax. Okay, taking feet together this time. And we're doing our knee to pike, or tuck to pike, should I say. So place your hands, the closer your hands are to your toes, the more stretch you're going to get here. If you're very tight in your hamstrings, you can keep your hands slightly in front. But starting down here, you're going to do two little bounces in your knee compression. One, two. Stick your hips back. One, two bounces with your torso at the top. One, two. One, and two for 10 reps. I must ask you, Donald, how your knee compression feels in this position. It's okay. So guys, if your ankles, knees are apart at the bottom and you have no, no pain, try and bring them together, Donald. Yeah, big toe, ankle bone, calves, knees, keeping everything nice and tight. Very nice guys, we're making our way to the floor. So once you have that done, we're just gonna come into a wide straddle stance here. It's gonna work into the top of our hamstrings. So nice and wide. And from here again, I just want you to reach your hips back as far as you can, lock out the knees and just feel that stretch a little bit on the inner thigh, 
but also into the top of the hamstring. So really stick, if I show you from the side, really stick your hips out. So avoiding any rounding, reach those hips up to the sky. Lovely, just hang out here for about 45 seconds. Show me those flat backs. Think about arching in the back. I'm seeing a lot of hollow positions. Okay, guys, keep holding, but just bring eyes to me from here. I'm just going to walk my hands over to my left leg, turn my feet and find my way into my long spider lunge. Once you get here, we'll just do a couple of hip bounces. Lovely, I'm gonna get you to drop your knee, back knee to the floor, lift the chest, take your hands to your hips and just let those hips sink forward and down. This front knee, you can actually push it out towards your baby toe and that should give you a little bit more space to drop into with your hips. And we'll hang out here for 30. If it's too much, guys, you can support on the front knee or take your hands to the floor. But ideally, I want your shoulders up over your hips. So that's going to give a little bit of weight down through those hip flexors. Jen, is he normal to feeling in your groin? Yes. Yeah. So just watch, guys, that that back hip here isn't twisted to the side. So if you look at me now, you can see I'm twisted to the camera. So I want to make sure that back hip is pulled down to the floor. I'm holding it kind of forward, pulling my front hip back and pushing my back hip forward, if that makes sense. Lovely, guys. Okay, I'll let you take your hands to the floor next. And we're working with that back heel. I'm going to get you to pull your heel to your butt cheek and return it to the floor for 10 reps. Two three this is actively working that hamstring five go for a little squeeze at the top six seven eight nine and this last rep guys we're going to hold it for ten pulses one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten second hold squeeze that hamstring eight, seven, six, keep pulling it, five, four, three, two, and one, Whew. and release, you should have felt that in the hamstring, okay guys, keeping your left leg in front, I'm going to straighten that front leg, push my hips back, I'm going to do 10 point and flex with my toe, so point my toe and pull my toe to my shin, point and flex, Folding forward as much as feels comfortable. And again, thinking about sticking your tailbone out or arching slightly in that low back. Very nice, guys. I'm going to hold my toe back towards my shin and I'm going to think about waving the sole of my foot left to right. Keep pulling your toes back to your shin and just twisting that hip joint left and right. Lovely. Okay, and our last one here. So you can lift your upper body as much as you need here. All I'm looking for is a one inch heel lift off the floor. So if you can see here, I can lift it two or three inches. So now I need to lower my upper body. Maybe I can get my hand on the floor. And I'm just, lo I'm looking for enough compression that allows me one inch of a heel lift. So it's quite a tough exercise. And you're gonna give me 10 reps. One, so maybe you're halfway, you could hold onto the wall. Three, four, and do your best guys not to drop your heel out of the rep. If you can control it down. and breathe, that one's tough. Yeah, I don't think it's possible. So just lift your chest higher, Comfort. 
Now try it. Okay. Yeah. So you just have to find um, wherever you're at with that one. Very nice, guys. Once we finish that, we're going to take that whole sequence to our opposite leg. So if you can bring your right leg in front, starting in your spider lunge, back knee raise off the floor. Just give me a couple of hip bounces. Again, squaring off those hips. So just if you feel that your back hip is twisted and open to the side, draw it down to the floor and pull your front hip back to meet it. Lovely guys, take your back knee to the floor, lift the chest, hands onto the hips, Ooh. try and get your balance and then allow those hips to sink forward and down, moving the front knee out towards your pinky toe and breathe here. Feel a nice stretch, it should be through the front of your hip flexor of that back leg and maybe a little of the inner grind of your front leg. Lovely guys. Okay, we'll take hands to the floor. We're going for our heel pulls with the back leg for 10 reps. One, squeezing at the top. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold it for ten pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And hold for ten seconds, guys. If you don't feel this right into the hamstring, you might be doing something wrong. Five, four, Three, two, one, and release. Whew. Okay, straighten that front leg and coming into our point and flex. Or sorry, flex and extend. Lovely, leaning into this with the upper body. Lovely, okay, hold the toes back to the shins. And you're going left to right, waving with the sole of your foot. Lovely, guys. And then when you're ready, if you need to lift up slightly, and you're going for 10 leg lifts here. One, two, really soft reps, three, Four, trying to control it back to the ground. Not easy to do. Yeah, and if you are upright now, so you can hold on to something, if you have even a weight or a foam roller by your side, it can help. This one is particularly hard, guys. Nice, Anna. Gilligan's are you all done with that? Yeah. Lovely guys. So we have about seven or eight minutes here and we're going to finish with our splits. So if you have your wooden floor ideal, make sure you have a slippy sock on or a cushion, something that's going to allow you slide forward easily and slide back. I think we all have a wooden floor. Comfort, are you on a wooden floor? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. I'm the only one on a carpet. <laughs> So I'm gonna, I won't be able to demo this exactly guys, but we've done it before. So I want five active re um, reps. You're going to start in your half kneeling split and you have, should have something slippy underneath this front heel. If you wanna place a cushion under the back heel, you can. And again, guys, just watch for those hips opening to the sides. I want you to keep your hips forward. And then I'm just going to kind of heel toe, but you're going to slide out as far as you can, hold, and then by pressing the heel into the ground, you're going to heel drag yourself back up to your start position. 
So on five, slow and controlled, slow controlled reps here. Each time, maybe you creep that heel a little bit further. Okay, and then trying to pull out of it, guys, without using your support. Sorry, if you have two supports that you can use. Excellent, nice, Jackie. Really, really good. And then just be mindful, guys. One way I can tell if your hips are twisted is by looking at the position of your back shin. So if that, if your foot is kind of turned inwards, NASA, Teresa. So if you want to bring that heel so it's directly behind your knee and try to keep it there, which will avoid those hips opening too much. It just kind of gets a mind of its own though. It does, yeah. And the reason being all that's happening, guys, if you look at me here, so now my hips are facing forwards, okay? They're both level. As I come into the splits, they want to twist to the sides. So you can see my hip bones are now, and that will bring that foot in. So by keeping it out, try to pull that front hip back, keeping your hips level. Now they will twist a little bit and that's fine. Very nice, NASA. And in terms of your feet, guys, you can try this with a pointed toe or see how it feels with a flexed toe. Personally, I think pointing the toe gives you a little bit more range. So I'm not sure where you guys are at, but when you've done five reps on that last rep, I want you to hang at the front of your splits for one minute. Okay, and I'll let you guys kind of gauge your own one minute. So if you're ready now, I can start a clock. If you're kind of just coming into it. I have a minute going there. And if those hips twist a little bit just to get you a bit further down, that's okay. There you go, T. Let yourself go. Trust the process. Breathe deeply, guys, into the stretch. Very, very nice. Lovely comfort. So what I'm looking for here, guys, is the front knee to be fully locked out. Pointing the toe can help with this. Very nice. That's 40 seconds. We'll stay here for another 20. Very nice, guys. Lovely. So when you're ready, pull yourself back out of that. Shake it out. And we'll do the same on the opposite leg. So this might be your weaker leg, unless you kept your more flexible leg for a second. You'll definitely notice a difference, I'm sure. And so we're going to go for our five active reps. And guys, it's really beneficial if you can drag your heel back without using your hands. That's going to give you strength in that position and ultimately help us to get to a better range in time that's going to lengthen that muscle. So press the heel down, lovely NASA. Let's see if you can get a bit further. Beautiful, so nice and slow, then press it down and lift up. That's really, really good, NASA, well done. Lovely, Donal. And can you drag that heel back? Trying to keep the chest up as well. Excellent, Donal, love it. Hey T, lock out that front knee for me. Yeah. You're going to need a locked out knee to drag the heel back. Beautiful, Jackie. So the progression of this, guys, and we will get to it, is you'll, you'll have two feet sliding and coming in together. They're laughing. Now, there's a good setup. You need a good two kitchen chairs on either side or two good friends to pull you up if you get stuck. I hope lockdown is not long enough for us to get there. <laughs> it's on the schedule for next week. <laughs> uh, lovely, guys. So again, once you get to that last rep, I want you to relax. I want you to sink 
into your splits and we'll hold for one minute. And I'm just going to have that clock starting now. Lovely, Jackie. Really good donut to you guys. Definitely great progressions. Lovely, Anna. Nice. Um, NASA and comfort. Looking good from everybody.